Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me today for another video. I am working on this 10 by 20 inch gallery wrapped canvas and I'm gonna do a straight pour. I haven't done a straight pour in, I can't even tell you how long, um, but it's been a long time. So if you've seen my other videos that I put out a week or so ago, I got my new Bordeaux red in, I love it, I'm so excited. So obviously this is gonna be one of the colors that I'm using. Um, and that is by Arteza. I'm also using this Thalo Turquoise by Golden. Just regular Amsterdam White. And this is actually bronze, but to me it looks copper. Yeah, and it's by Creative Inspiration. So I'm interested to see how this is going to react with these other paints. Because a lot of times it will produce cells. So... We'll see how it works. And then this is gold. So, I've already layered the colors in my cup. I was looking at something, and before I knew it, <laughs> I had my cup full, and I was like, well, I'll just show them, you know, the painting as I go. But you can see how beautiful it is. I have, and it's very full, and I have the copper, well, the bronze, next to the red, which shows up so pretty. I don't know, I just I just love the color, color colors together can't talk. So I'm just going to do a straight pour down the middle of my canvas and then tilt it back and forth. And this is a big cup, so it's quite a bit of paint. All right. Pretty colors. Go up a little bit. that bronze. Yeah. Bordeaux red. Love it. Come down a little bit. Oh, wow. It really ever mixed. That's okay. Different patterns. Yeah, this is a lot of paint. Do I want to come back in this now? I'm gonna leave the rest of it. There's a little bit left. Leave the rest of it for um, if I need to cover my edges. Okay, got paint on my glasses I couldn't see. Let me blow out the air bubbles. So pretty, and I put white, and I realized at the very beginning I didn't put as much white as, I, or I'm sorry, at the very end, that I didn't put quite as much white as I wanted because I really love the effect here. And it really mixed here, so let's see how this goes. All right, lots of paint. Ooh, I'm getting some cool reaction here in the middle. I'm just gonna go back and forth for a second. Yeah, definitely gonna need a little bit of paint to help it move, so I'm just gonna use some from my cup. And my paints are thicker, but they're not like overly thick. But they're, they're quite a bit thicker. And I've got some more paint if I need some. All right, let's see. Let's see, you can see. Because I pulled it. What I did, and this may end up <laughs> hurting me. I started and I put a lot of paint and then I kind of thinned it out. And then I put a lot of paint. So I've got a lot of paint on both ends, which mm, not not great. I don't want to lose that corner because I love it. So I'm trying to stretch out the paint right now. Just go a little bit and a little bit. And I know 100% I want to get rid of this and this that I put on there. Which I, I, I planned on that anyway. Um, I was just using it to help my paints move. Okay. that corner but I'm going to come back oh I like it let me turn this around okay pretty colors 
don't really want it to zigzag, but I've got to get it over the corners. That's really pretty. I'm going to pull it all the way back. When I say pull it all the way back, I'm pulling all the paint back over here because I still need to get this side, which I can cover with, you know, either the turquoise or Bordeaux red or something. But I need all this to shift down. So I want to get my paint here instead of here because I don't want all this to fall off. Okay. See where it is? A little more. Hopefully, I won't lose it. And come back. Ooh, wait. Pretty. Love this. So gorgeous. Yeah, I'm going to have to come over the edges with some of the plain colors, which that's fine. That's fine, but I am loving this. So, I did one similar. Um, I used red and turquoise. I'm sorry, red and teal, and I'll put the link to that in um, up in the corner. And I got a comment just the other day. I did this months and months and months ago um, that it looked like an Indian blanket. And I was like, you're right. My mom said the same thing. So, this one kind of looks like an Indian blanket, too, um, with the different patterns right here. But I really like it. It's going to be really pretty. And I did get some cell reaction here. And I also like the way it's curved. Really pretty. Okay, I'm going to clean up the sides and fix them because I've got a lot of bare spaces. And then I'll bring you down for a close-up. Okay, here's the overall piece. Now, I went ahead and I've turned my lights out because I wanted to show you how gorgeous this is going to be when it dries. It's got a ton of shimmer, um, but I don't think it's too much. Not overpowering. Love the red mixed with that bronze. It is so pretty. There are two areas that I just think, I mean, the whole thing I think is gorgeous. This right here, look at the lacing. It's kind of in between lacing and cells right there. I think it's really pretty. And then over here, I think this is my favorite part. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. That right there could be a pain, just by itself. <laughs> but I do, I think I'm really gonna like the bronze in here. It looks really pretty with the red. And then of course there's gold. Yeah, I love the overall piece. All right, I will show you the dried results. Okay, here's the overall piece dried. I'm just putting it on my table. But it turned out beautiful. I mean, I love the archway. And this area right here is where I love that lacing part. And then you come down here, Let's see if I can capture it. There it is again. It's just so pretty. And what I think is very interesting is I used turquoise by Golden, and it looks emerald green in this piece. I mean, solid emerald green. Look at this. I don't know if you can tell. It, it is extremely green. It's beautiful, but I was quite surprised. This doesn't have any varnish on it or anything. It's just the gloss varnish that's in the mixture, my pouring medium, which I'll put in the description below. And this part is where I was going to possibly add something, but I decided not to. And I'm really glad I did. I think it turned out pretty. Let's see if I can get the whole piece. I like it being solid down there. Very interesting. And then this area right here is where I said it was zigzaggy, which was really cool. Let's see if you can kind of, it's hard to capture with the glare. 
But yeah, it dried beautifully. I love the overall piece. Very pretty, very interesting. And the sides turned out gorgeous. Just flows on down. Oh, you can see how green it looks right there. Yeah, but it's cool. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. If you have not subscribed to my channel and you like the content, please think about doing so. It really helps my my channel grow um, and also give it a thumbs up and a comment if you have any questions or, or comments or suggestions that something you might want me to try, I'd be happy to do so. Thank you so much for being here with me today and until next time, bye.